Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all the zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, for the sun, moon, and rising. For those of you that are interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. Here we go. This is going to be for Aries for the mid-month of August 2017. Spirit, what are the messages? I've been shuffling for quite a while now. And... This is going to be uh, love readings again, like I said. So I will be pulling out cards for Aries, representing you and how you view the situation. And then I will be pulling out the cards of your partner or the person that you're interested in. Okay, so here we go. Give me the messages for Aries. Okay, let's get right into your reading, Aries. Okay. Oh, wow. What is going on, Aries? Okay, Spirit, give me the center issue. Center issue. Center. Whoa. Okay. Contemplation. Okay. All right, let's get right into your reading, Aries. So the center issue, you have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles talks to us about looking, trying to figure out a uh, situation, trying to figure out uh, if you want to pursue, if you want to continue on this relationship, or if you want to walk away, basically. Uh, the Seven of Pentacles can also represent um, contemplation when in regards to your past, Okay. So, Aries, your first card, you have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is uh, scattered energy. So, you perhaps were extremely determined, extremely focused the first beginning of August. Uh, you're going to start to see or feel your energy fluctuate, um, be a little bit more tired, um, not really clear-headed, um, and it probably has to do with not just your relationship, but projects that you have going on at the present time. Okay. So then your next card is the nine of wands. So for those of you that have been in a long-term relationship, this is definitely, this is you trying to determine if you want to continue on this relationship from what it seems. You're really heavily contemplating as you have two sevens here. And sevens are always spiritual numbers. So uh, there is a need to perhaps pull away or be a little bit more grounded. Uh, so what I mean by that is, again, like I said, your energy is fluctuating. Uh, maybe, you know, the last uh, last week, even uh, the beginning of this week, perhaps you're starting to feel a little bit uh, like you don't have so much energy. Um, but it has to do with the fact that there's a lot of things going on in your mind, whether it's projects, whether it's business, or whether it's relationships. The Nine of Wands definitely talks about you seeing this person as a very conflictive person or a person that is very hard to read. You do have the Nine of Wands here, and the Nine of Wands is definitely um, your your partner or the person that you're interested in has definitely ha gone through difficulties Um and that's the reason why they they keep themselves so guarded or that's the reason why they like to test people, I guess, before jumping into anything serious. Now, you do have the Ace of Cups here. And I feel that for you Aries out there that are barely starting to date someone or getting to know someone, if you are willing to put in the extra effort and the work basically to show them uh, that you're serious about this, you will definitely... I mean, it may seem in the beginning, it may seem like something, you know, uh, this is a challenging person or that they may challenge you. Um, but definitely there's an opportunity here for new beginning and new advancement when it comes to love and romance. Now, you do have the Eight of Cups here and the Eight of Cups is a representation of uh, moving on, being able to pull away from the past and move forward. Uh, it is crowning the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> sorry, it is below the, the Ace of Cups. So it's definitely, um, this can either turn into something serious, monogamous, or 
you may not want to deal with the fact that this person is very strong headed like you. You may be dealing with an earth sign. So an earth sign would be a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. Or you may be dealing with someone like yourself, which is a fire sign, which would be a Sagittarius, uh, a Leo or an Aries like you. Now, how the person views the situation um, when re in regards to you. Uh, perhaps this connection happened um, out of the blue. What I mean by that is you guys weren't initially interested in one another, perhaps not even invested, not even trying to take it to the next level. But due to circumstances and due to life or cycles of life, you guys have grown to come closer together or you guys have been together through very difficult situations, whether it's your your experience or their experience. Now, they do have the Ace of uh, Pentacles here. So there is a promise for a new beginning and stability as the Aces are always new beginnings and you both have new beginnings here. But... Um, they have the three of swords, so perhaps they're dealing with an emotional uh, baggage that they've been carrying from past relationships, and maybe that's what's a little bit throwing you off as the Ace of Cups here is crowning the three of swords. So not crowning, sorry. I don't know why I keep saying crowning. Um, mirroring the three of swords. So usually what this represents is you are willing to give them love or affection or attention um, and they are being guarded or you may perceive them as not open or maybe they're not interested in me. But in reality, what it is, is that this person has been hurt, has been through difficult situations and they will not take steps forward or they will not move forward in any type of situation or relationship unless they know that there is a promise for a new beginning and stability, okay? And finally, they have the Sun card. So the Sun card is the manifestation. Uh, the manifestation of as one, again, one and the other are mirroring one another. These, this is your card. So you're walking towards a new beginning and a new relationship. So for those of you that are currently single, there's definitely um, a possibility of a long-term commitment here in the arising. Again, like I said, I do want to mention you have to put in the work, okay? Um, I know Aries uh, sometimes tend to be a little bit impulsive, but if you're willing to put the effort and show this person that you're genuinely interested in them, uh, the possibilities for a long-term relationship is definitely there, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel.